Hey guys and welcome to this series where we'll be attempting to make a very simple drawing software using OpenGL and C++. So before I start writing code, I'd first like to make a general overview of the steps that we will be taking in order to make our drawing application. So we will first start by making a window, a very basic one, where our rendering operations will take place. You can think of it as our sheet of paper, because that's where we will be drawing. In the second step, we will be using some callback functions that OpenGL provides to read the user's input. And then for our brush, I'm going to use a circle. So to draw the circle on the screen, we will be doing some very basic trigonometry. But don't worry, I will do my best to explain it. Next, we will have to make our circle follow the user's cursor and once the user left clicks, this circle gets drawn on our window. So here we will be working with shaders and with very basic 2D rendering operations, so don't worry. And without further ado, let's start writing code. So I've already set up OpenGL and GLAD and all the necessary tools. In case you don't know how to install OpenGL or you're having problems making it work with Visual Studio, then you can simply watch Victor Gordon's video and it will basically show you how to do that because that's how I did it too. So first I'd like to separate my code into different files and so I'm going to create them now. So for this we need a window manager to display our window, a callbacks file which will take care of the player's input and a drawing file where we will be drawing our circle. Then we have OpenGL utils. This is where we will take care of the rendering process and mm, finally a shader manager and of course the main file. And now we can make a header file for each of them except for the main. Okay, so now we can safely close all of these and only keep the main and the window manager file. So um, to avoid any confusion later, we can start with adding header inclusions. So we will start with glad slash glad dot h, then glfw library. And then just add the header files that we just created. And of course, don't forget IO stream. Um, okay, so let's start with the window manager.h, which is the header file for window manager, and therefore include the glfw header. Um, so this header file will provide us with the necessary functionalities for window creation. Then we create a class which will create a window with a specified width, height, and a title. And I will also use setup callbacks to configure event callbacks for the window. So in our window manager.cpp code, we will start by including glad. I will also include window manager header to access the create window function inside the class that we just created. So inside this function, we will start by initializing glfw. We'll also create a window with a specified width, height, and a title that we will determine later in our main script. We also have two other arguments that we don't really care about, so let's just put them as zero, none, or null pointer. They all do the same, basically. Okay, so now let's make this window our current context, which means any OpenGL commands will affect the current window. Because without setting the current window, I mean the current context, our OpenGL functions would be lost and have no idea which context, I mean which window to operate on. And so we have to specify that. Okay, okay, so now we're going to load GLAD, which help us import function pointers. Please don't ask me what function pointers are because I'm still learning those and I'm still a beginner too so yeah um, I'm gonna cheat my way through this and I will simply copy paste it from this code snippet 
and that's it now glad is imported in our project and of course don't forget to return the window that we just created okay so after that we are finished with this code i mean with this script so let's go to the main.cpp and in this script we will import i mean we will copy paste um this function so this function basically will ensure proper rendering regardless of window size changes after that let's create our main function and inside this we will define our window and then we simply are going to copy paste this code from the other script and just put the actual values that we want to use as our parameters Perfect, so now if I try to run the code, as you can see, the window just flashes really fast and it disappears. And that's very normal, because the main loop of the application, I mean the loop that keeps the window open and responsive, doesn't exist. So let's create it. So here I'm gonna do a while loop, which indicates that while the window that we just created shouldn't close, it must stay open. I mean, that makes sense. And this is where the role of glfw poll events comes to play. Okay, so now last few things to do. First, I would like to swap the back buffer with the front buffer, which helps with smooth visuals. And finally, before we finish, I would like to destroy our window and terminate it. And since our function is a type of integer, we can simply just return 0. So now as you can see, the window stays open. But we have a little problem. I think... Um, I know where that I'm coming from. Oh, I find it. It's here. The void. It shouldn't exist. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Sorry, guys. So if I run it, it stays open. That's what we need. And I think that's it for this video, guys. Um, so this is the first part of the graphics, I mean, the drawing application. Um, I hope that I would stay consistent and I would follow up with more videos in the future. So yeah, it's a big project, but hopefully one day we finish. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.